you know what? It's more complicated than I thought. everybody doing today good are you truly doing good terrific so today you guys we're gonna bring you a very different video now you guys I hope you checked out the instant grits well five minute grit recipe with the egg one pot meal you guys yeah if you haven't checked it out please go check it out now Today we are testing a new recipe that your girl had just peeped, okay? And this came from Tasty Bartender. Now if you're familiar with him, do you know he likes to come with a lot of creations? Well, I saw where he created some noodles, grilled cheese. Now you say, well, how is that impossible? Well, if you follow this recipe, you will have it. So your girl is going to test this out. She's going to make some grilled cheese, oriental noodles. Uh, we'll know. We'll see what the title said, you guys. But anywho, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test his recipe for some grilled cheese using Raymond noodles. Using Raymond noodles, you guys. So, yeah, it doesn't matter the flavor because I'm not going to use the flavor pack. I thought he said it may take it up a notch. Your girl is not going to use the flavor pack. No, we're just going to go in here and make some grilled cheese. So, we're going to let these noodles cook three minutes, right? We're going to let them cook three minutes. Mm-hmm. And, y'all, that's what we're doing. Gotta rinse off my blade. You guys, so you guys, what are you doing today? I'm trying to keep videos all simple and stuff, you guys, because we got the holidays coming. And you know, your girl, she's gotta get in this kitchen. She's gotta get in this kitchen, so hey. Your girl wanna bring light to these. noodles so we're just gonna go and let these cook on down you guys and we'll be back okay so here go our noodles and we're gonna put them in this pan just like so yeah we're just gonna stretch it right on in here make sure they all evenly from one end to the other. Now this is where our egg come into play at. Because we got to get the eggs right on in here. Okay. So we just going to stir it in there. I just wanted to see was it all about the same, you know. Will it all stretch? Okay. There we have it. Now, we're going to refrigerate this. We're going to refrigerate this. And I'm going to go with maybe approximately. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. So we have our noodles that cool down. And I'm just going to add a little butter in here. Not much. I don't remember if he added butter. I don't remember that part. 
You guys, how do you like my new skillet? Mm -hmm. I decided to invest in one, okay? So we definitely need two spatulas because we have to pick it up. So let's lay these right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flip this over. Oh, it did not come out. Wait a minute. Okay, we still safe. We still safe, you guys. Okay, we still safe. And we're just going to let it cook in this square pattern. We're just going to let it cook. Okay guys, so we're letting it cook to it mold itself. And so yeah, the girl is just gonna cut it just like so while it's in the skillet. Okay. Why? Because I need to know where I'm gonna put my spatula. Just gonna go in here. That's it. Take it over to the plate. Okay. Take it over to the plate. And we know where we cut it. Know where we cut it. Right. So now we're going to add them back in here. Wait a minute. I see what one. This recipe was kind of complicated as it looked it. Okay. I'm just going to cut those off because it ain't going to really matter. I knew it was going everywhere. Okay. So we got those going. Now we're going to add us some cheese. Now he used bacon as well. But the girl is not going to use some bacon. She's just going to use this cheese. I'm going to put me some aluminum foil over here. to make sure that the cheese melts. Okay. Just to make sure the cheese melts. Okay, you guys. So let's check it out. 
Mm -mm. I need the other spatula. More complicated than I thought. Give it a few more seconds. Let's flip it because I want to see that side. Now, it's not the perfect square. That is not. Mm. Oh, you guys check out that deliciousness. Check it out. And that is Raymond Noodle Grilled Cheese. Wow. Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? And I'm going to spruce it up by a little parsley. Just a little. Okay. Shout out to Tasty bartender for this. I can honestly say it's pretty easy. It's just that by me doing it for the first time, it get a little complicated. But I imagine if I had to use the beef seasoning, probably would have gave it more flavor. But I didn't use the beef seasoning. So yeah, there you have it. Now it's too hot for me to handle. Oh, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Let me just break off a piece. Oh, that's too hot. We're just going to go over here for the bite. You guys, check it out. Ramen noodle grilled cheese, you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Why do I taste the egg and the cheese? Mm -hmm. mm. While wow, you guys check out this recipe. Raymond noodle grilled cheese sandwich and I am so sure that it would definitely make a great combination when you add your bacon your sausage or whatever wow if you enjoy ramen noodles try this recipe you guys tell me how you like it and yes also shout out to tasty bartender I enjoy all your videos and as he say, he's no a gourmet chef. But until then, you guys, I'm going to send much love from my house to yours. Don't forget, try the recipe. Bye.